A paper is published just around a week ago. And in this paper, we are told about the fractures existing in the, under the Grindavik. And they have been mapped since 2019. And the images and the maps from this paper are now circulating in the internet. And people are asking why this was not taken action upon. Okay, the town of Grindavik was built on a fracture zone. The fracture existed there before. We had the mid-Atlantic ridge opening up, and every time it was opening, it created cracks and sometimes eruptions also happening. The last one was before this uh, uh, recent events in 800 years ago. So there was no real memory of that, but this time, when these fractures were there, people were building the harbor, and this is the reason there is a harbor, because there is a, a rift here, and horse and graben are formed. Uh, so they filled up the gaps in the town. It settled over time, and then when the reactivation of these uh, cracks and fractures and fault lines happened, it cracked the structures, the roads that were built over there. This paper is published a week ago. Any data from that was not available, in my opinion, to anyone other than the researchers who were doing it. And it's a little bit uh, unfair to ask them, you know, the, to ask the authorities that why you didn't act upon it. The data was not known. But people knew that. People had a memory that there was fractures here. They filled it up. So every time any of these fractures, a little bit actually reactivated, appeared at the surface, they were just filling it up, plastering over it practically in geological terms or in, in layman's term, we can say that, and then ignoring it, forgetting about it. This is something that we have to remember. There was a reason that port and harbor was existed there. Greenovic Harbor was there to serve a purpose, fishing, and the graben and the rifts served the purpose provide a safe haven for the ship and boats who were going to Atlantic Ocean to fish. As far as I can say, what we have seen here, nobody could predict really, saying that this will happen. We are just in the hindsight saying all of this. It can be, I'm not telling that legally it should be uh, dealt like that. It can be considered as an act of God in the insurance term. And after that, just listen to the geologists who come and tell you about this. What I'm trying to say is that when we say that why they didn't act on this or that document, we are practically either working for the insurance companies not to pay anything to the people of Grindavik, or we're just ignorantly uh, pushing forward for this so the people will not be compensated. If it is not act of God, that means... Somebody knew about it and didn't do anything, so insurance company will not pay you.